is my new idea. Just came up with it today, and that is to have some kind of a zip line incorporated into each side seam with good old dental floss. Every time I come to the end and the beginning of a knit row on the machine, I'm going to lace that dental floss over the end and tie a slip knot on it, leaving a tail when I pick up my main yarn of about, I don't know, 13, 14 inches. And then at the end of my knitting, I plan on just zipping it all up and then I don't have to sew any side seams for my tube sock that I'm making because this will be attached to the dental floss that I zip up through the side seams. So I'll check in and I'm going to start knitting. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back after doing a little more setup. This is the dental floss with a slip knot tied to it, actually a, a figure eight knot on a loop and some weight. I'm going to knit my first row. As you can see, I have threaded the carriage with plenty of leader yarn for the side seams. So I've got my tension set, knit the first row, dump this in here. <laughs> kind of hard when you have one hand. There. I've knit across the first row and it looks pretty good so far. So what I'm going to do now, move the carriage out of the way and then loop over to this side with the pack of dental floss. Undo my weight, move the carriage and bring it back a bit. I wish I had an extra hand here and drop it through like that. Oop, no, I don't want it on the sinker pegs. I don't want it on the sinkers, just on the yarn. So it's just on the yarn. And I can actually just leave it like that and knit the next row. See, it's kind of pulling it down a little, so I will need to be careful with that. Give it tension and knit the row. Okay, let's see. There's a little bit of a loop there, but th it seems like it should be okay. So I'm going to continue in this fashion and then check back in. I have now knit eight rows, and this is what it looks like so far. Nice zigzag back and forth of dental floss. So far, so good. It's going pretty easy to knit this across. A good rhythm gets going. It's not creating any excess yarn on the sides and I think this will work just fine. So I will knit 10 more rows and then uh, we'll take it up from there. Check back in. It'll probably go a lot better next time I do this because I'll probably have the dental floss on one of those uh, bobbins instead of in the actual dental floss pack. So. You can always pull your yarn up. Should be fine. Let's do this. So now I've put the dental floss pack on a bar stool so that it doesn't pull the actual yarn as I knit by. And it's right up there against the edge. Okay. Okay, I'm checking back in. I've knit 30 rows. This is what it looks like up close. You can see how the dental floss is picking up the end loops, and I've had weights that I've maintained a uh, good pull on that end loop to make sure that I have it caught completely onto the needle. I've always made sure that I don't have the dental floss wrapped around the sinker peg. Same on both sides. And you can see this nice web of dental floss. And when I move my weights up, I make sure to capture that dental floss and then weight it back in so it's like that. Nice web. Should turn out nice. So I've got 30 rows here. I'm going to knit some waist yarn and then uh, get some help in filming me zip this up. Checking back later. Okay, okay. hold it right there. Okay, and I'm going to, nope, you're good. Like like this? Yep. Or? Yeah, like just this? keep it all in, in the frame. Okay. And then dismantle it from the machine. Yeah, the frame is also right down to the bottom of the screen, isn't it? Yes, that's fine. You're good. Okay. 
you're doing. So, okay, what do you want me to do? Just keep filming. Oh, okay, sorry. No, no, you're fine. Are we talking here? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so this is the beginning, because I have it weighted right here, and the loop that I created, and I'm going to attach it to... Let's take all this off the machine first. It's my favorite thing to do. Whoosh. 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 Okay. So the dental floss is on this side. And the yarn is on this side. The blue yarn end that I want to start with. I need to separate it out. From the waist yarn. I'm going to put that up here and I'm going to tie it together. Now, starting from this end, I'm going to cut, and now I should be able to fold this in half and just zip everything up. Let's see what it looks like. So the first zip, believe me, this is a lot faster than sewing. Zip, 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 zip. Look, the dental floss is actually zipping through the the end stitches, catching just the end loop. See, it's zipping up quite nicely because it's wax dental floss. It just flies through the, the end loops. A little bit of a snag there. Pick this back up. Here. Of course I hit a snag. I'm going to Okay, it's filming again. Okay, so I've, I've undone my knot, probably because I was zipping way too fast. So I guess you do have to keep a mind on it. Maybe if it was inside out, it would be easier. So, let's see if I do that inside out. And then it would be more manageable. Ah, yes, yeah, see, there it is again. Same thing. Well, this is helpful to have a, a flaw in my theory. It's a good theory, though. There we go. Zip, zip, zip. Pick it out. Zip. Okay, a little bit of a snag. I'm going to untangle and then check back. Go ahead and pause that. Okay. So I had to Maybe cut a thread that. because I, I wasn't paying attention and it actually picked up on one of the loops. So I had to cut it off and now I'm tying it together so that I can continue zip lining my... So I need to pay attention so it doesn't catch next time. I was just kind of zipping it fast so as soon as I get that knot through all should be good there we go and back to my zipping still on the dental floss zip 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 look it's zipping right up that's good so far so good only had a few minor snags all right so the dental floss is all getting zipped up right now pretty soon it's gonna pick up the main yarn Tied a nice long leader. Zip, zip, zip. Here we go. We're down to the main yarn. That should be very exciting. I need to nurse it through a little bit. Hmm. Well, at least dental floss doesn't break like pearl cotton. Okay. Here we 
it's coming. It's the knots. Still, look, there it goes. Now I'm on the main yarn and it's zipping right up. Oh my gosh, how lovely is that? Wonderful. I didn't have to do a, I didn't have to load a needle and side seam it up. So it has done my seaming for me with dental floss to floss your socks. And stitch it up, turn it right side out, and let's see what it looks like. Actually, not, oh wow, that is such a flat seam, you can barely feel it. That's fantastic. I love it. Nice. Very nice. You can't feel it. It's you got one edge, it's almost like a kitchener stitch. And if you pull it apart really, but look at how nice that is. And so when it's zipped up tight and then stretched out, it's good to go. And that's seaming as you knit on a ribberless flatbed knitting machine. Flossing your socks. I'm done.